Hello and welcome. I understand uh, BlizzCon the other day, Blizzard announced the next Diablo game, which is going to be a mobile game. Diablo Immortal. I guess uh, in conjunction with NetEase. And everyone seems to be mildly upset, to put it lightly. Overall, I understand why people are mad. I definitely, uh, there's not a good history with um, mobile games. They tend to be pay to win and heavily, um, well, just pay to win really. You just play to a certain point and then you always hit a roadblock at some point. You're encouraged to pay money to get around to keep your sanity intact rather than spend a ridiculous amount of time grinding around it. Uh, so many examples of this. Um, Clash of Clans is an example of a pay to w of a game that um, does pay to win fairly well, actually. I think uh, you do, cause I've been playing that for years, and at no point have I had to spend money um, to do anything in the game. I've gotten to uh, Town Hall Ten uh, without spending money and had a good time, and never once ended up in a situation where it'd be like, "Ooh, I have to pay money to get around this obstacle." Just there to speed things up. Um, if they take that route with it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's going to be, fr I think I said it's free to play, then, isn't it? Uh, it would be nice if it wasn't. Uh, just a regular Diablo style game that you pay like five bucks for and then everything is, on, is a regular game after that, but they probably won't go that route, will they? Diablo itself, I feel, has a really good fit, fit for mobile. Um, most modern phones and tablets can handle Diablo 3 style graphics. And there's a ton of games out there with Diablo-style gameplay. Uh, I've, I've always uh, thought that um, Blizzard could probably make a killing if they uh, remade the original Diablo from 1996 uh, as a uh, mobile game. Just uh, uh, do ev turn everything into a uh, touchscreen controls and sell it for five bucks on the store. Uh, they'd ma make a killing that way. I don't think Diablo 1 runs too well on modern machines. And I don't think it's in the, in the blizz Blizzard shops. That's a good piece, piece of gaming history that doesn't a lot of people don't get to enjoy, enjoy too, much, too much anymore, except for the one month a year when um, they uh, loaded up in Diablo 3. Uh, I guess this game is by Net, is going to be made in conjunction with NetEase, who do Crusader, Crusaders of Light. Um, I guess there's been some accusations that the interface is very similar, and it does look similar. Um, Crusaders of Light is a game I do actually have extensive uh, history uh, playing with since it came out. I do actually enjoy as far as a mobile MMO goes. Uh, gameplay is solid, uh, the rating is solid, matchmaking is solid. I stopped playing it once I got near endgame though because um, it's too hard. I ended up um, spending too much time not playing dungeons uh, <laughs> and running into obstacles and quests where uh, I couldn't beat them by myself. And I wasn't about to start paying money for better stuff. Nuts to that, I say. Nuts. Uh, overall, the gameplay with Crusader's Light is pretty solid. And if they use that as a template for uh, Diablo Immortals, that's not so bad. There are definitely worse things they could do. Um, it's one of those games, though, that uh, has um, the, um, the option to let games play for you sort of thing, which uh, is controversial. Um, it really defeats the purpose of playing a game, but for mobile, um, it's not necessarily the end of the world, because then you can uh, e make it easier to do that around um, other tasks and whatnot, whether you're cooking or doing homework or something, uh, rather than just sit down and dedicate um, a gaming session like you would on a PC. Um, where uh, where uh, what well, yeah, the um, the uh, yeah the biggest part where where Blizzard screwed up, however, is doing this game by itself. It should have been announced alongside um, something else with the Diablo universe, whether a teaser for Diablo Four or a Diablo Two remaster or a new expansion pack. It um, uh, they they hey uh, hey they yeah, they really really should have pitched a PC Diablo product and then done this is like, oh, by the way, this will tide you over until this next cool thing comes out. But, um, they're going to get these. Blizzard is getting the same kind of backlash that I believe EA did for the new Command & Conquer mobile game, which, uh, even though I love Command & Conquer, can't be bothered to check it out. I'm not going to do 
too many pay-to-win things. They end up being kind of the same. There's a couple of these games I like to play on phones, but uh, I'm not really going to go check out a whole lot of them. I do like uh, Lineage 2, uh, Revolution, and Crusaders of Light, but... Um, yeah. There is potential for this game. I think Diablo game style runs very well to mobile. I'm surprised Duck Blizzard this long to uh, get into it, to be honest. There's um, so many games out there that do Diablo style gameplay. Um, one from Game Loft, which is that one, um, they have their fan fantasy game. At, um, first thing that reminds me off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of it. Dungeon Hunter, that's it. D Dungeon Hunter series in Game Loft is. Uh, and that. that is an example of a Diablo style game that uh, plays well. I think it's still pay to win though, but um, the actual gameplay style works very well, and if it handles like that, I'm okay with that. Although, I really, it really depends on what kind of um, pay to win uh, pay, pay, pay mechanics are in there. Is it just going to be stuff that su supplements gameplay, or is it stuff like, oh, you're going to have to do this to keep your sanity intact? Because uh, the grind to um, do this, do things for free, is going to be so big that you're going to say, screw this, and um, hopefully pay money. Although, um, the more likely scenario is people will hit that wall and go, well, oh, that's fun, I'll come, I'll uh, put the game down and never come back. Yeah, so, um, all in all, cautiously optimistic. Um, Blizzard really should be doing this game themselves internally, they should not come out to a company like um Kai Kev like Kev uh looking up for a company like uh NetEase is not the good way to go. They have a ton of ton of these uh, free to play games games which are all very similar, so they have experience in this field, but that is not what people want out of a Diablo game. Um even on uh, mobile even on mobile people want a deep hardcore style old school action RPG like Diablo 2 or Path of Exile or something. If they do it something like that, that would be mind blowing. It would be awesome. Um, Titan Quest is a game that was redone. It was, came, originally came out on PC and was redone on mobile and it handles pretty decently and plays pl plays plays pretty well. So it's a shame we're not going to get something like that. Um, I get uh, back to the point of uh, accusing um, it to be piggybacking on Crusader's Flight. Uh, there's precedence for that, unfortunately, in the mobile gaming space. I believe Pokemon Go was built on a reskin uh, uh, using the engine of um, another game. What? Uh, Ingress, that's it. Yeah, so um, Ingress is one of those games like Pokemon Go where you walk around in the, the uh, r r real world and um, do things in the game, and uh, Pokemon Go is built on the back of that, with uh, that game where all of the Poke stops, for example, are um, stops in Ingress that all all, all that had all, all that all, all already uh, pre-exist. So um, this game, um, there there is a precedent for um, g games um, to um, use another game's code and then just uh, j just reskin it and then be very profitable. So. Um, it looks like Blizzard took the wrong lesson from that. Of course, Pokemon fans aren't really the same, looking for uh, like a deep, hardcore PC game style experience. So, I haven't looked too much into uh, the storyline for Diablo Blow Immortal. Um, ideally, it would be a nice little uh, companion, companion piece side story to supplement uh, the main Diablo storyline, kind of a side quest or whatnot uh, that isn't mandatory to understand the big overall reaching storyline just kind of a but <coughs> hey yeah the fun thing on the side um so i guess that's it uh leave comments below and i will talk to y'all later bye